And... Nope. <laughs> I, we're live. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Checking In. How are you guys doing tonight? Great, great. Alright, you guys great. good? We have, uh, a, a, we have the first guest for the hour whenever her first guest of the hour <laughs> well just one there so we uh, obviously mean? we have uh the evil morph god himself dun, 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 dun. and uh hey that's uh kevin of course from nerd new england reptile distributors yes. uh, obviously kevin has been good friends uh we've been good friends for like 30 years and stuff like that wow. and uh so what better way to start off the guests than with someone who's crazy so this, uh, this is gonna go one of two ways okay Either, or they were gonna have. I know we all had that look when you said that, like. Okay. No, so so this is the deal. It's a, it's gonna either be the worst podcast we've ever done, or no. What what it is is that Kevin is definitely. I'm gonna flatter you for a second. Kevin is probably one of the most smartest, the most intelligent people I've ever met. Seriously, mm. but unfortunately, with uh oh, what happened? Wait, wait, hang on one second. What do we got going on, guys? I don't know. I think he's also the... Oh, one give us a second. Person. Yeah, give us a second, Kevin, because I don't... Are we, are, is our stream... Is our stream <laughs> effed up? It says oh, you heard that. The audio is bad. Oh, fuck. Let's just keep going. What does okay. that mean? It means that the people can't hear us and that the audio is fucked. it's pretty hot, so let's see if we can... So, Jesus Christ. Let's just keep... Well, going. keep talking like that and they'll hear you. Well, now I can't Now I can't hardly hear anything because the, the, the audio is so low. So, I, I uh, you know. Yeah. One is so, Kevin, we're just having some technical things. We're trying to figure this thing out. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we're trying to figure it out live, which is the worst thing that we could ever do. Uh, so, guys, if you are hearing us, if it's bad, I can't see the chat. Just, uh, just keep we're going to keep going for a little bit. And if it uh, if it's an abortion, then we'll have to redo this again. This it's is an abortion. This <laughs> is abomination. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. not abortion. Oh, no, abomination. Whatever. Abomination. Abortion. So, what I was saying is that, you know, Kevin uh, is one of the smartest guys that I've ever met in a lot of ways. So it's either with smart people you either get like really intelligent conversations or complete manic insanity. Yeah. That's that's what Kevin is. Can you hear us, Kevin, now? Nope. You can hear a little bit. Damn. Yeah, this is so bad. He got my attention. So uh are we getting any better guys? Well we're getting the chat to say they can hear us, so it's just a little cracky. A little cracky. Alright guys this if Brian's mic only so much mm. static. Mm, 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 right, well, Replug that it. mic. Is it just? Brian is it just talking. Brian's mic? <laughs> Hello. This is crazy. I hate this so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You do. I really wow. do. You yeah. Somebody tired. Here's a little crack and just keep going. <laughs> okay. Keep reading. Yeah. So we're gonna try to you know get this. Seems thing. to be getting better. So Kevin, said. it seems like it's getting better. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going with it. Uh, it's really frustrating, so guys, you, and I apologize that I'm frustrated. So you were talking about how intelligent Kevin is. So yeah. what? What? What are you intelligent <laughs> about? Like what? What makes you so smart? I don't really know much about you. Well, listen. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. That's basically the gist of our relationship. Sure. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> it. Audio's good now, guys. Yeah, I'm I'm positive and, and Lori's negative. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what the deal is is it is really amazing when I I've, I've been out to your place a bunch of times. We've hung out at reptile shows and stuff like that. Um Kev, like your level of uh like Energy? No, no, his level of, like, knowledge of things that make no sense are crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Like, like when we talk about, like, ex electronic switches or something, like, crazy oh. like that, like, or, or, like, air conditioning units. Like, you know everything. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> he said he <laughs> Right. Yeah. So... So what are you getting at here? No, I was just what saying that Kevin is actually in a pretty mellow mo mood right here. Have you ever seen Kevin in his crazy no, modes? No, I never have. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. So he does, uh, uh, we'll wait for this a little bit later on, but he does some pretty good. You will love some of his moose milk stuff. Moose and, uh, milk. And the bowling, uh, bowling aid, you know, stuff. I mean, but we won't get to that right now. We won't get to that right now, right? 
Who's that? He's your brony reptiles. Okay. Alter ego. <laughs> yeah, alter. So, so anyways, Kevin, uh, obviously one of the, the, really the, the founders of, you know, the reptile industry, you know, I mean, ba- way back in the day and, um, certainly pioneer of, of ball pythons amongst other things, you know, not, but I think that's the thing though, Kev, is that much like us, a lot of times we'll get like cornered in, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is much like us, we'll get cornered into kind of like. Yo, oh, you're a ball python guy, but you're really far from a yeah. ball python guy. I mean, yes, you do ball pythons, but I mean, you have one of the most eclectic collections. I mean, talk about some of the things that you're really passionate about that aren't ball pythons. Um, water snakes. No, I don't know. Wood turtles? No. It, um, chipmunks. I know you like chipmunks. I know that for a fact. Yeah, I like chipmunks. It's a uh, monarch butterfly. It, well, especially lately you know like the ball python things i mean that's it's like it's like a standard but um at some point to keep things interesting and and brian you certainly understand it is we need to have new challenges because there's so many animals in the reptile world that we're just like we sit there and look at them we're like god that thing is amazing but it's very much unlike a ball python yeah so we have to get those into our collections we have to go through all you know the mistakes and kind of articulate through the husbandry before we can start dialing them in and actually breeding them and you know so let's say it's like a mangrove snake Mm -hmm. you know mangrove snakes are not very well known and generally when they are known brian you know this they're they're generally like wild caught dendrophila dendrophila yep and they they are rear fangs so they are venomous but you know it's it's not like you know anything like a lethal venom or anything they're just venomous enough to make you respect them but not venomous enough where a lot of people don't admire them and, and maybe someday want to keep them Lori uh loves mangrove snakes right oh yes they just keep coming <laughs> yeah yeah, the thing is, is that we've produced mangroves for the last, like, three or four years, and we haven't sold the one, and no, we just keep but, them all. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But, you know what, it's funny, is, and that's part of the issue, too, is, well, yes, you know, like you say, there's a learning curve. So we never worked with these. The ones we had were wild. Right. Lots, so we never had babies, even. We started right. out with adults, and yeah. the first ones we hatched... Honestly, we did. We had really poor success right. because we didn't know what to do, and and how do we learn in most things? Trial and error. Right. You yeah. know what I mean. So it's funny you lose. because now, um, uh, you know, the last several clutches that we've had actually are doing great. Like we figured yeah. it out. You know, we figured out what the babies need. Yeah. And now they are doing good, and, and yeah. now I'm happier. I guess I just get more angry when we have stuff and it doesn't work out. Like you know. Yeah, yeah, so if so, Lori, you're breeding melanota, so you're breeding Boega dendrophila melanota, which is like mm-hmm. the, the larger, mm-hmm. less yep. patterned one. Which I mean, they could grow potentially, males could go nine foot plus, yeah, on those, and um, that's probably one of the best mangrove species to play with because if you're breeding and working with Boega dendrophila dendrophila which is a smaller, many banded yeah. one, which are exquisite looking, but I found them incredibly problematic as far as uh, managing babies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very difficult to get eating where melanota is more forgiving. Yeah. And um, then you get into Boega dendrophila divergens. Yeah, those are nuts. Those are a trick to hatch. Really, that is hmm. not like other mangroves. So are they so the we same? Know, are, you know that they take that 90, 100 plus days to hatch. Yeah, wow. and then they take weeks just for the babies to shed. Yeah, yeah that was the weird. Thing. And those are the yeah. those are the crazy ones. Uh, I don't know if we are, we have the ability to. Do we have the ability to pull anything up? Uh, Picture wise. No. His, no. Okay. It wasn't on the network. That's fine. We're working on on that. that usually, dendrophil or the um, divergence are ridiculous. They're like bluish. Yeah, they're next. Level. They're they're my favorite of all the mangrove snakes by far. And you you actually you bred your is did you breed your albino to one? Mm, yes. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my gosh, that albino and that's a melanota, right? Yeah. So yeah, because there's the way the boega dendrophila. There's been those albinos for a couple of years. 
and that really hasn't taken off and they, they are pretty but i think it's because of uh the limitations because they really as babies they want to eat lizards and frogs um but the melanota you can get straight on to rodents as you can the divergens so this is the only albino melanota that we know to exist yeah wow. this thing is ridiculous it's, it's like, exquisite and where'd you okay, so get it from sorry. and where did you get it from it's like it's th that it's the only uh, one uh, albino melanotas oh, are us oh, okay that's cool <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> cool uh, yeah <laughs> perfect <laughs> sumatra is that like a country or something yes yeah, yeah, yeah. borneo yeah, sumatra country <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know he's new to the import export game he doesn't understand these. New? Yeah. There's, 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 I haven't even started. The world's flat. No, I just think the world's oh, flat Lord, too. Oh Lord, let's not let's not start. It oh, could man. be. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, I do know a couple flat earthers though. Yeah. And speaking of flat earthers, I have a guest that's going to tell me all about it coming in the future. So really? Stay about tuned. flat earth, flat earth, flat earth, and many more theories, huh? It is interesting. I mean, it's certainly possible. I say. It's certainly possible. I'm not going <laughs> to... <laughs> it ain't possible. <laughs> no, I mean, it's Ke certainly Ke possible. <laughs> Kevin and I talk about a lot of crazy stuff, but uh, yeah, Flat Earth is not something I, I can... Uh, I think... I think definitely not something. I think most of us uh, will adhere to science, usually, yeah. you know, instead of uh, crazy speculation. So, yeah, so, like physics? Yeah, physics, physics. are... Just Fundamentals of physics and uh, the laws of physics, <laughs> gravity, yeah, and uh, everything, orbital uh, rotation, and and, yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you just buy a book, Noah? I did just buy a book. <laughs> What's it called? It's called. Actually, I don't even the fuck. No, I forgot. For people in a hurry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I got oh, it. Astro Neil, physics yeah. for people in a hurry. Yep. Yeah, Neil deGrasse now, Tyson. Kevin, I could be completely off, but was it? What did your dad do for a living? Wasn't he have something to do with? My like, dad was a uh, physicist. So exactly. Yeah. Uh, he's a PhD scientist, doctorate in microwaves. So. Oh wow. Um, you know what? Just uh, so systems that are on, on mounted on Boeing 747s, it's yes. called an AWAC, and it's this big giant radar, yep. and they can fly way far away from where fighting is going on, and they can detect other air movement, and uh, then eventually into a system called uh, Joint Stars, which is actually that airplane detecting tank movement and you know vehicles on the ground and that uh, yeah. he's a, a theorist of microwaves and our radar. Wow. and that's exactly what i'm talking about with kevin knowing <laughs> so much about things i've never known so, so much about a wax it. before uh but thank you yeah, i know that's i awesome. know earwax but uh that's a totally different thing <laughs> uh, yeah i get a lot of that uh kevin's phone is now now i just see kevin's eye there, there he is. Go. hey he's back again so uh Sorry, let me people are trying to call me so Ah, no worries. Yeah. Hey, so so are you guys open now? We are partially open. Uh, the pet store. Okay. Um, nerd, you know, no nerd. We're not doing uh, really any public tours or educational mm -hmm. stuff. We do a teeny weeny bit. We did like a, I think we did a private tour the other day. I got one of your kind of private tours. Okay. Where, you know, with me personally on Sunday, we decided we were going to do that. Oh, um, that's the good. Pet store is open but every you know people wearing masks and you're only allowed to go into certain areas oh, okay so it's it's very very limited still yeah it's it's, it's crazy yeah it's crazy we started to i guess it's been five weeks since we started to be able to reopen the last three weeks uh was it three or four weeks i guess it's been four weeks now that we've had n more numbers so basically what we do now uh kev is, is we go uh, well, now we're doing 35 people per hour at the at the Reptarium. So we're selling instead of whereas in the past it was ten dollars and you could stay all night. Now we're selling one hour slots. And, um, and it, but we just last weekend upped it to 35 people, which is still a very small group. You know, a very small number of people. But still, when you're talking, we're open five hours. At least now it becomes uh, more worth it for us, obviously, to be open at you know because we can put you know. A hundred and yeah, whatever people it's, in. It's what, what a what a scary thing because ultimately you have all of those animals you have to manage day yep. in day out whether people are seeing them or not you still have to do all the care. Yep. And at some point that really can threaten 
your financial um, sobriety. Of, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. Without having people coming in and uh, a, a paying for them and obviously appreciating all of your effort yeah. and all the caging. And that's enough to really test your sanity, I'm sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, me, you know, obviously I've t spoken to you about, you know, and, and people that are watching know that I've dealt with some massive anxiety issues over the last few months. And, and it really was spurred on. Uh, the trigger was losing uh, the ability to not, not just be open because financially we were always pretty good, but uh, it was just the, the, the loss of control, you know. Yeah. And not just not just the reptarium, but not being able to do anything, you know, I mean, stuck and and, you know, uh, New Hampshire seems to have did gone pretty well, though, you know, as far as it seems. Yeah. yeah, our numbers are not terrible. It doesn't seem like they're on the rise or maybe it's almost like it stayed kind of status quo, if you could say that. Right. But we are. Beneath us is um, Massachusetts, which is yeah. one of the, the highest ranking as far yeah. as infections yeah. and really? deaths. Yeah, Boston. Yeah, Boston's bad. Yeah. yeah, Massachusetts is absolutely horrible. Yeah, actually. Then, you yeah. Know, New Jersey and New York and all that crap. Yeah, it's kind of um, scary because we, we actually, ironically enough, we had someone from Boston um, yesterday as a tour or maybe today. I can't remember. Um, but it's scary because. We have people from all over the country coming, you know, when we're open and stuff like that. But we do require masks when people come in and stuff like that. So it, it helps us a little bit. But it's a, it's a wild, wild experience. And, and what do you think? I mean, are you doing any reptile shows this year? Or are you going to stay away from them? I, I uh, well, Bob Ashley said that he thinks that uh, Chicago is going to happen. I don't know. Really? Yeah, he just, well, he... He wants me to. I have to continue writing some of the ball python stuff, right? The books, yes. Because we're out of print for the most part, like the complete ball python, and we want to add yeah. like another hundred pages to that book. A hundred pages? Page. Jesus Christ, dude! That's already no, 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 not the ultimate. Oh yeah, I was gonna. It's like that seven hundred and forty, and then he's like, "Oh, why well, read We can do that too." But I'll start with the complete ball because the complete ball python is completely out of print. Sold oh, okay. Out and gone. Wow. You know. It's over. That's awesome, and though. So, I guess I have to wrap my brain around that. But he was talking. He thinks that uh, Chicago will be on. Wow, um, I'm shocked about that. I do that. It's. I don't really know. You know, I'm not a big fan of shows. No, I nor am I. You normally it. don't do a whole lot anyway. <laughs> it's a huge amount of energy. Yeah. And Brian, you you and I both mm -hmm. know we can be back at our places doing something that's tangible as far as taking care of our yeah. animals. Yeah. And the phones are ringing. Stuff is being ordered. I don't need to do the shows to do business. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. No, I, 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 yeah. I might need to do the shows to, you know, go in and meet new people and mm -hmm. yeah. and show that I'm actually, you know, a, a, a real living person or something like that mm -hmm. but it, it is very much uh it's a hardship and it's very taxing on our time and our resources and yeah puts you through a lot of yeah and, and the animals as well go through a lot of it let's you know uh trans i want to transition to something that you know noah's uh obviously passionate about too What's and this? it's uh you know so you know obviously over the last year you, you know you guys have done a lot of work on the social media side yeah, so obviously okay. Noah has his YouTube channel. We have our YouTube channel. And uh, you guys are crushing it on YouTube and social and everything else like that. I mean, how's that going for you guys? I mean, you get, you, I, I, you know, I, I feel like you're like one of those people that partially is into it, but partially hates it. And I'm not sure what it is. I, I'm largely not into it. <laughs> it hates everything. We do it. <laughs> um, I'm I'm generally you know it's it's like a forced thing because I just run around just do my thing and then people are like oh we need to do this and we need to do that and then I'll concede to that. <laughs> um, I like it like some of the videos when I have like a topic or I'm showing something that's important to me and I have obviously so much weird stuff to show. Yeah, you do. And the one thing I do really like about doing it it causes me to reflect on maybe the way I view something or something that I do that 
I take for granted or I don't even, I'm not conscious that that's something unique. But then when other people are watching, either when we're filming it, but generally after we film it and Donnie puts it together and presents it, and then people respond to it. And I really like that. Right. I really like mm -hmm. the comments and how people are talking and it makes me think. So that part I'm really good. That's my enjoyment. That's literally my reward. Which is probably it, opposite of most YouTubers, right? Like most YouTubers are like the comment mm. section is the worst part of my job. But uh, but I, I agree with you. Our comment section Some is really good part. too. It, yeah. It's it's really it is it is interesting. Um, I don't. I've removed myself from like trying to argue with people mm, yeah um yeah that's good or, you know you always get those handful of weird comments <laughs> these people it's like oh yeah you know and brian you know it's like are you actually talking about me or nerd or like i don't understand what you're even talking about right and no matter what you're always going to have those people and you're always going to have the thumbs down and it doesn't really even bother me now i've just completely you know mentally isolated my mind but mm. I'm really turned off by Facebook right now. Oh, interesting. Uh, Facebook, yeah. So I lost Urban Dinosaur, Brian. Really? What happened? Had, what happened? I don't know. They just Facebook, shut it down. They shut it down. They um huh. they suspended it, and they said that uh, it violates their terms Which one are you? of service or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. You right. don't do... We don't do sales. We don't really do anything. We don't do even live feed. And right. I think it's one of the most credible lizard, you know, type based yeah. Facebook groups. Right. And then when we said, you know, we don't agree that we actually, you know, run a pretty good thing. They came back and said, no, we've reviewed it and it violates terms of service. And then they sent me a delete like the Facebook delete and uh -huh. said your group has been deleted. Oh my gosh. Well, for, and, yeah, first off, let you know we'll, we'll talk mm -hmm. afterwards. I'll I'll talk to my Facebook manager about it. We right. might be able to get that that group back for you. But this is the thing it, I, I It's awful. I I don't even understand. Well, that's the problem. Oh, that's the problem that's though, Facebook. right? Facebook pretty well and it 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 was a very buzz you know like a lot of a lot of movement it was very active and people love it and people are messaging me all over the place and i'm like i don't even want to talk yeah because i'm so upset because i feel I, I feel like violated well right. yeah you like, put you put I, years into that you know and you were putting information out that like you said was really revolutionary and but like i said let me talk to my facebook people and we might be able to get that group back for you because that would be you know, that yeah. would be like magical yeah i know I, I, I just don't we had this happen. I feel yeah. like they yeah. power tripped out on me, no. and then they wouldn't even tell me. Well, they just that's don't what do they that. do. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they do. They say go to the terms of service, and then yeah. that's all they say. And then you go, and then the terms of service is so broad. It's so yeah. broad. You're like, what the? I didn't well, even. Ultimately, it's it's like an individual that might just be like. I'll give you an example. We we're monetized on Facebook now. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, we're monetized. So we'll upload a video and it'll get demonetized, which happens a lot. Like we don't right. get a lot of demonetization on YouTube, but we do on Facebook a lot because they're much much tighter. But we can literally delete that video re-upload it and the next person that watches it monetizes it so it's the same video just one demonetizes and one monetizes yeah. because of the the perception so so anyways i we a, fr a friend of mine uh liz cook who's a uh a, a pretty popular tattooer uh, she had like 1.2 million on her group and it got deleted about a month ago and we got hers back for her so 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 hopefully we can do the same for you and and, and what was her offense uh she literally didn't know same as you like she didn't have any it just it just went away that was it i, I and they wouldn't even tell me yeah well and they never do tell me. they never do they, they never do we're fortunate that we have a an actual person that we can talk Dude, that, to but that but, is unbelievable but that's right. just the way it's i'm not you know well this is the thing i find interesting right is that they can delete your monitor uh, you know, educational monitor group, yeah. but yet they will 
not delete the the reptile keepers that hate Brian Barczyk group, <laughs> oh, which is crazy. <laughs> Hate speech. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, you can you could totally have that. You yeah. could you can have like you know, you can make up things and say horrible things about someone and that's not against their terms of service, but when you're talking about yeah. a, a a lizard, you know, that's a violating your terms of service. That's got a big buzz on it right now, guys. And um that's got so a pretty I'll good tell buzz. you a couple other things. So okay. yeah, the YouTube buzzy. thing is obviously it's growing that's, and you know and, and they I guess that's no good. The winter Something happened over the winter where they changed like the YouTube algorithm or something. Yeah, they my, always do. You know, we were averaging around like five million. Is that minutes? When I'm looking at my um, my beta analytics, I think it's like five. Was it five million minutes, minutes or views yeah. or whatever? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Probably, yeah. And yeah. Now yeah probably. We're, we're hovering three point six to four million. And right. It, right. Brian, did you notice like just your overall YouTube success? Let's say from let's say uh, January has just changed. Is that because of the buying I think, patterns? I, I that well, well, there's a add? yeah, there's a couple Can things. Say, Here's that. Are, are those your roosters? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can Can you hear? I don't think he she could hear. Could you hear Lori or no? I can hear her kind of being. Being quiet and meek like she should, yo. <laughs> so you need to shut the hell up. Yo, oh, yo, baby, you know horrible. what you need? You need some moose guzz. You'll get some of them. You couple, you'll guzz a couple of gallons of that a week or two. You'll be a oh, Philly. You'll be like terrible. strong, asserting oh, yourself. You'll be doing dishes faster than you've ever done them, baby. <laughs> ever. Yeah. Jokes on you. I don't. Don't, don't. Yeah, that's that. that, that, Yo, that that's what I'm telling you. You need to assert yourself. You got to get brave enough when you actually want to do dishes and you want to like fold the dish pan, towels, and do some cooking. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that. Yeah. I. I Where I can we buy I, some of this shit? I can't. I can't. Uh, we need uh, to get her on it. Want. Yeah. You know if she does do. Like drink some moose guzz. Yeah. Now, mind you, it's <laughs> moose not moose guzz. milk. Moose milk is okay. too timid. She too needs timid. moose guzz. Yes. It uses chipmunk and red squirrel testosterone. Testosterone. From giblets. Giblets. They harvest the testicles the test. of red squirrel and chipmunks. Makes sense. And then she'll benefit. I get it. Becoming less meek, and she mm. might actually feed you food. No. And try to raise you properly. No so way. You're not so meek. No, wow. that's not going to happen, no. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's that's incredible. We got to get some of this guzz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Guys, dude, we got to get some of this guzz. You'll pound that out, and uh, wow. you'll like, be dating women, and women mm. will be like falling all over you. <laughs> Damn, dude. Mm. Epic swole. You'll be swole. You're looking wow. kind of weak. You haven't been going to the gym. I've been going You're to the gym. <laughs> milky. I've been... Ch- <laughs> Well, I need to get on this fucking guzz, man. Dude, you're you out about a gallon and a half. Within 40 minutes. That's so hot. Keep it so hot. Now, you'll, you'll need bigger shits. You know yeah. Good. Did you say he'll take bigger shits? Is that what you said? Yeah. The women, the things will be falling on the ground. Wow. That's good. I've been needing some of that extra, that extra no. guzzing anyways. Oh my! I've been gosh. a little guzzless. You realize that I have to totally edit, like the, what I really normally say. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Don't That's the one thing I will say. You could say whatever you want here. This is on, on the podcast. No, we don't keep all right, it. All right, Noah. Yeah. No, you be draw, You be pounding out like at least like four or five quarts. Panties be dropping. Mm. Like the first date. First you date. Be, Rocking it, and you'll be worried about paternity tests. Mm. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Well, where do I sign up? Is this like an email list, or you you gotta go on Jabroni Reptile? Jabroni on Reptile. There's okay. A lot of hate speech over there. Yeah. And then you need to look. You, you need to look because everything is here. Well, you gotta understand the boys over at Jabroni Reptile. Mm. They're terrified of doing any new videos because. It could be listed as hate speech, and then that group's going to be gone too. Strictly. Yeah. So right now, it's kind of suspended in animation. Mm. Or oh, mm. something like that. The funny nice. thing, the funny thing is, is when when you first did Jabroni Reptiles, it's been a couple years, right? 
Oh, it's it's in me. I could rip on it if I wanted to, and I'm just behaving. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but when you first did it, I think people thought it was real. Like, they didn't realize you were behind it. Oh, dude. It, <laughs> I, I, I got people angry. People fell for it. All this different stuff. And they didn't know it was me. Dude, I, I would go... I, so I'll tell you a little funny thing. So, you, yo, jabroni... Reptiles called out this poser Ben Siegel reptiles. <laughs> How pathetic they are, right? Then I'm talking, oh, excuse me, Jabroni Reptiles was talking to the manager, Amir. And mm. then uh -oh. I was complaining, hey, who are these clowns over at Jabroni Reptiles? I'm like, dude, they're not clowns. Those guys are cutting edge and rich. Yeah. <laughs> they're calling us out online. They're mm. talking smack. And, and then Jabroni Reptiles called out uh, Strictly Reptiles. And oh. said they were like poses and all this different mm. stuff. And they were trying to like be like Jabroni Reptiles. So oh my it did God. get some recognition. It was Good. Pretty it was pretty epic, yo. Yo, and they're only just a hundred percent factual. All jabroni reptiles is hundred percent facts. Yes, a hundred percent factual. Dude, it is. It's, and if you can't handle it, it's because you're jealous. Because you know, your ego is very small and timid. Timid. Like girls. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why you need the guzz up the <laughs> guzzler. No, you no, gotta no, get the dude, guzzler. Get it, dude. I get take it. A little wimpy pussy. Like little this pussy guy over here. Over here. <laughs> Then he blast out some, you know, some moose milk. Hey, yes. Noah, do you yeah. realize that the protein is rendered mm -hmm. from Canadian, Canadian. moose? Moose, Specifically, yep. bull moose. I've heard it's, that. Uh, we have a giant stable of mm. male milking moose. Male milk moose. Yeah. And it's the perfect source of epic swole. Swoleness. It's, Look at that guy. It's impeccable. That is so swole. He's been on. Ripping with testosterone he's it been is, on the is. moose milk for I've about been, six yeah. months now Yeah, six months moose goes it's really good the uh the milking yeah, dude it looks like you got a couple bottles of like the little wannabe like moose milk looks like, he's got uh, mouse milk <laughs> i'm about to say dude is that yeah. muscle milk because that muscle. is <laughs> no it's no, the no. weak shit that, dude, there ain't no no there ain't no canadian bull mooses in that shit nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> none of them oh my god yo you want to hit a couple super chats yeah let's hit a couple super chats really quick word, Kev, word. see if there's anything we can talk about awesome Hank, awesome go ahead all right this is jay talking by the way what up, Kev? All right, so we got uh, Bo Sham says, uh, made it on, hell yeah. yeah. F it, we do it live. We're live. We do it baby. live, man. This definitely didn't start well. I don't know if it's going well. It seems but, like uh, it. We're, we're, we're still you know, tweaking good. a little still bit, but tweaking. everything's good. But yeah, because that's good. the way we do things. So Constantly thank you so tweaking. much for that. Go ahead, Go ahead Jake. <laughs> Rebecca says, hey, guys, love you. Hi, Kevin. Nice to see uh, some new people. Hello. All right, good. Thanks, All Rebecca. Right. All right, next up we got... Uh, Acer says, "Pop in to say hi. Can't stay. Have to w have some work to finish." Ah, uh, well, hey man, go get Thanks, some work Acer. done, man. Good thing that somebody's working around this part. <laughs> go back man. to work, Ramos. For God's <laughs> sakes, I know it's not our crew that's working. And then uh, <laughs> no, we got no, our crew's great. I'm joking. We got uh, Sam and Boa who says, uh, "Kevin, you are the king diamond of reptile keepers. When are oh you? Uh, gosh, when are diamond. you pairing up your IMG to your Argentines?" Ooh, you know, I I started doing that. And I was actually having uh, an IMG combo breeding an Argentine. And then, like, I have, like, really nice Argentines, too. Yeah. I only have two pairs. Right. So I was kind of like, but everybody's dying for, like, really nice Argentines. Yeah. So I kind of was like, I started doing it, and then I pulled back, and I put it with the male Argentine. So I have one that's gravid right now. But you don't know you who know the dad Boas. is. Yeah. Like, you can yeah. sit here and bank on something. Everything's great, and you come in there, and it's all slugs or whatever. Yeah, you know what's crazy? So, like it's. Cr I kind of leaving it up to the morph gods or whatever, and see what actually comes out of it. But I did yeah. do a breeding of that. You know what's crazy so we'll is see. it's crazy how the 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 Argentines like ten years ago you could hardly give them away. Yeah, you know, I mean there was you, like I so got many. Of my entire group because yeah, of that. We did too because we couldn't sell them for like sixty bucks. We literally couldn't sell. Bucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes forty bucks, and and so now the babies sit there and like. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, now it's like people are dying to get them. I mean, they like you. You could sell them for two hundred and fifty bucks all day long. It's crazy, you know. But they're they are a really cool animal. I love them. They're big. They're what awesome. makes them unique? Well, they're they're really dark. And the IMG that that Kev was talking about is basically you know increasing melanin. So it's this beautiful yeah. black, silky, almost like 
the 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 motley golden child stuff in the boas boa. uh but but the argentines are naturally that dark really beautiful almost mm. motley-ish looking it's it's just a a beautiful beautiful don't snake. you agree that that's in right now is like a, a solid black is in yeah it's well, like yeah, the, it's the really mexican a... black the those yeah. what you're saying oh my gosh yeah it's whatever. like people are you producing any more of those kevin the black ones? Of what? The jet black ones, Motley Golden Child. Oh, the retics? Ones. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> we'll we'll see. Uh, I did a kind of a my breeding season this year. I did less because you know this whole COVID hits, and then you're like blown away, and you're like, yeah, everything. It, it's very hard to like stay focused, and uh, we were yeah. definitely affected. So it bred less retics. So it's kind of be like we'll see what actually what actually goes. And it just seemed like it was a weird year for me breeding retics in general. You, really? you know, like a lot of stuff breeds, but it doesn't actually take. Now, do you have, so, uh, I, I'm going to need your help here. Can you help me out for a second? Yeah. I really would like to convince Lori to let me get one of your pied retics. Aren't they amazing? No. Nope. They, they are. And nope. I can give you like a, a, a pie retic that nope. doesn't want to bite you and doesn't want to pee all over you. Nope. See that, Lori? What? Can you hear Lori? No, can you guys hear Lori or no? Work, I can't hear. I can hear Lori, but you know what, okay, dude? Good. It's look, dude, bro. She look, sounds dude, like bro, wicked it's extra not the mousy. Area. She's extra <laughs> mousy I, I today. Hear, I hear all this, Brian. Oh, I kind of don't. I don't think I like now. Tired of this shit. <laughs> and I'm gonna head right to New Hampshire to kick your ass if you don't shut look, up. <laughs> look here, you dingy broad. Oh, 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 you little skinny motherfucker! I'm gonna what? come and I'm gonna <laughs> kick your little bony <laughs> ass. Talk about his ponytail. <laughs> yeah, you know what with that, that weak like? little tiny braid. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Say you're gonna pull his ponytail and his hair's gonna fall out. <laughs> That's what you sound like. No, no, no. Yo. Yeah. Talk all big and bad so far away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Oh shit. Yeah, you know you know it, baby. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to get the bad. we're gonna have to get the now, now I'm packing up a few other retics and sending them back to him. That's what's oh, going no, on no, now. No, no, oh, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. That's what's happening. I do I really do I would love to get a pie retic though. I mean they are the ones that Kevin has are so beautiful, um, you know, they are really ridiculous. Now why are they what, is there more genes to those that make them that way? Which, which one are we talking about? I'm talking Talk about, about the pied retics that are like super, like, you know, just that, the ones yeah, you had last it year. Was, I bred, um, <laughs> I kept these two weird ones and I bred them together. And normally you get a lot of like low white pied expression. And these look different than, let's say, like my other pies. Yeah. And some, there's something else going on. I don't know what it is, but it seemed to work out really well because it made yeah. like this this litter was like not like what it should be and yeah. and these animals were like unique and had this black edging so yeah though they, they were gorgeous they I, I were guess gorgeous. more time so this year yeah. i bred the male sounds great to an unrelated <laughs> female that was more like a very nice pie but it didn't it's not expressing this so right. if we get she's due to lay soon and then you know we'll see what we hatch and we'll see how that uh that transfers out right gotcha now what's uh what's the update on boland's pythons anything uh <laughs> it's a touchy one i'm still dude i i i ended up yeah i got they confused me i had a female a gravid female i even did a video of it and i fucked up and i left her in my other group I don't really even know why I did it. I was un I was almost not convinced that she was gravid that I like had seen ovulation and I was like, oh my god, you know, are are these you know just like really big follicles? And I I did something really stupid, and I noticed she was coiled up, really really tight, and anytime another snake touched her, she was really, you know, like uh, always like shrugging them off. And I, I, I was stupid and I should have removed her from the group because I left her in the group and I came in and she was hanging uh, in a, um, an arboreal nest box and she was hanging out of the hole and she was dead. Oh, my gosh. And, oh, Jesus, my God. That's, it, it, oh. it screwed me up so bad. Oh, and I'm sorry, I saw dude. her like the day before and she was fine. And I don't know what happened initially. So 
she was dead and i was kind of like you know when like something dies and you're like i can't believe this is even real right or whatever so it took me about five days before i did like a basic necropsy and we did it we actually videoed it because you know i was like i didn't understand what's going on so the very first egg towards her head had uh ruptured oh my god and we we did a whole video of it i think she had 11 eggs wow 11 or 13 eggs we did a whole video and she was clearly gravid all the eggs were right down to the vent oh my god dude um that kind of screwed me up and then i i think i did something stupid and i separated my bolins pythons not exactly knowing where they were in cycles and that kind of like screwed up what i was doing so I'll have to revisit that. Yeah, at the they're moment. Su- they are such a weird, they're, weird they're animal. Unlike man. any other snake, yeah, at all. Yeah, they're they're um, yeah. It's it's wild. I mean, we just have the one that we got from you, but it's it is right. It is bizarre. Is it in the reptarium? It's actually What's not the reptarium. Yet? We're oh. we're at uh, it's at BHB. We put it at the reptarium, and it's stressed out. Like it did not like it at all. I mean, it like we had it only there for like two or three days, and two or three days at okay, the reptile. Okay, did you put it back into a drawer where it was? Yep, yep, we did, and it's done great ever since. Yeah. So, you know, and that was like a, a good straight up snake, and you're like, oh, he's not eating, and I'm like, oh, great, this is the you know the the stress thing. Once they settle and they decide, okay, I want to eat, it's just like a switch turns yeah. on. Yeah. Is he a good eater? Again? Oh, it eats, it's never, yeah, it never, yeah. it has a refused meals. I think that's exactly it. And, it's no yeah. different than uh, when we sell okay, a ball Okay, so python, I just you think know? you'll yeah. go from having it at BHB or wherever, and then when you do put it into the cage, that transition, and it will probably go seamless. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the shipping. Yeah. Something about well, the shipping. Well, it's okay. I'm in they, no, like, yeah. They freak yeah. out, and they just, like, they lose yeah. it. Yeah, well, and plus I'm in it's no already hurry. bigger because it's been oh, eaten like crazy. Like, yeah. We already moved it into a much larger tub and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and it's eaten like in the that, big tub so. now, and, I mean, yeah. it's, it's doing great. I, I think mean, it's, it's just a matter of getting crushing. established. Yeah, I just, it, yep. but it freaked me out. I'm not going to lie to you. Like two days into it, oh yeah, uh, I he was, was like, ready oh to my send god, it back. I, I was I'm like, done. I, I'm done. I, I thought it was going to die. I seriously thought it was going <laughs> to oh, die. God. I mean, it, no, it really. Brian's did. like the worst customer ever. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, I was like freaking <laughs> the out. The ones man. that we love. <laughs> no, but they really did. It, it was like it was. I, I'm not even kidding you. Like it, it, it's like movement was really strange. It had its like mouth gaping. I mean, they're like really crazy stuff. And then we and, put and all that went away. Gape. We yeah. put that in a in a in a tub. And within like a day, it was acting completely fine. And like two days later, it ate. Mm-hmm. And it's never yeah. refused meal I threw since. food in there. Dude, it because it yeah. lived, it just like lived in in a, in a you know in a bin where yeah. it's really comfortable. Yep. Yeah. And I'll tell you, when I was breeding my Bolins, and I got freaked out, I separated my females into drawers, mm-hmm. and every single one that I put into a drawer went into this immediate stress out, and it really? totally changed everything and it was the it was it was a mistake i did okay i really made a mistake but it's again there's and no I, there's I, no I just book got freaked out yeah. i didn't i didn't know where they were yeah and that they just went through like this whole psychological um period of stress yeah it's just really because weird I, yeah. I did just that yeah it's so weird that an animal can be like that but with this experience, though, did you learn what to do in the future yeah, to correct I, it? I, I, I think I think I learned some stuff. So once they are gravid, they have like this different behavior. Mm. And I was kind of like pinching myself, like, is she gravid? And I think what happened was so she was going in this arboreal hide box, but there was other snakes that were going into this same kind of pattern and what they did is they bothered her mm. by touching her and she got really defensive and i think it it caused her to you know move around mm. and she was hanging this mm. thing in it i think it ruptured Hot. this egg yeah. so i pulled my other girls mm. and i put them in these drawers interesting and they didn't want to commit to ovulating they had ma- it turns out they had massive follicles mm. But I was yes. scared, and I should have just left them. And then once they ovulated, then, then pull them. them. So I yeah. should have yeah. put the gravid one into a drawer, realized that the other ones, and it's very hard to realize yeah. that they're gravid or not. Yeah. yeah. I thought they potentially were gravid, and I basically interrupted the whole cycle. Mm. Yeah. So, well, again, I got, you know, like it's... the temperature thing down. Yeah. 
I figured out what temperatures work yeah. and all that and how to do it. So I just have to. Yeah. So next year you'll crush it. That's, right. that's the thing. Yeah. You know what I mean, well, that's, and that's yeah. like the name I was saying earlier that isn't that what we do, yeah. you know, as keepers with new species, you're playing with them, you're figuring it oh, out. Yeah. And I think that's the yeah. thing that's so interesting about the reptile hobby in a way is that, you know, we were doing that back in the late eighties yeah. and early nineties oh, yeah. with everything, you know I mean? We didn't even know, you know, what certain incubation temperatures were you know oh, yeah. we were just kind of playing with things and now with the internet everyone has kind of been able to use what we've not just us but the bob applegates oh, and, yeah. and 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 all the other people that ernie wagner's of the world and stuff like that that did all those years ago but but there's still species like you said not only bowl and i but but there's a lot of monitor species and lizard species that we're still figuring out as well. So I think that that oh, makes it interesting. Yeah, it's 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 always that way. And you have the psychology of these animals, which I've kind of keyed in on. And these different groups of animals have all these different levels of psyches. Mm, and yeah. some of that, yeah. it's, it's literally the mental state of that animal is needs to be considered when you're breeding them or when you're keeping them as a pet and the success and why some are better captor, captives and other ones are not and, and basically tying in with like awareness and intelligence of these animals and that can completely change your whole relationship with the animal and how much you enjoy them as a pet because they give back mm -hmm. so much yeah. and just basically understanding each different species yeah so i wanted to ask a question to you about reptile intelligence yeah in your experience what has been the most intelligent animal you have worked with in your long career yeah uh, the mo like the most intelligent like uh, reptile no one yeah 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 exactly uh that you've experienced i mean it, again this is an opinion i'm not asking you for a fact but just in your opinion the animal the reptile you yeah. worked with that you thought has been the most intelligent it's I, I would um I'm blown away by water monitors mm, water Miranda monitors. Salvatore yeah uh Miranis, uh Salvadori croc monitors mm. yeah I was gonna ask um, you about that too as far as lizards like a water monitor their ability to be aware of what's going in the room articulate unique people yeah motions in the room other animals in the room how they respond to it and they just don't just look at the room and just see things mm -hmm. they see it and and basically dissect mm -hmm. is that something i need to be fearful of is that something yeah. that scares me Figure is that something out. that's interesting to me yep. do i know you do i trust you oh there's a stranger in the room i'm going to totally change my behavior yeah <laughs> and and how they know one person from another it, it blows my yeah. mind yeah and the relationships i can have with these right. these animals is something you might have with a dog a cat mm -hmm. or yeah. a bird yeah and, that's that's what go ahead and then one other question is like so do you think that we know very minute amounts of information about how smart these reptiles actually are. Do you think we have so um, much more to learn, or do you think we got it? I, well, we are. We have way more to learn, yeah. but I feel like I've I've been learning a lot in let's say the past ten years about mm -hmm. the whole mindsets of these animals, and I've I've kind of had like an awakening of what i'm getting out of them mm -hmm, and the yeah. more i have an awakening the more i question things and i'm also realizing other animals mm -hmm, yeah. um i with this awakening it also i look at other people and how sometimes and like they keep animals or what they think of themselves and it also makes me uh appreciate how incapable they are or how <laughs> not yeah. remarkable yeah how not I, I i do have i really you know some of the the pet the pet youtubers people. or whatever <laughs> the pet yeah. people it, it, it really to me they're somehow they've been overvalued or they overvalue themselves yeah. or their audience is overvaluing them and it like, I think the people that should be appreciated 
aren't necessarily appreciated. Like, you know, uh, Brian, we have like the Eugene Bissett's yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in our, our background yeah. who, when we were just learning about this stuff, we're looking at these people that inspired us that were very successful yeah. and they're still there and, and they're not considered, but you got some, Fucking dumbass. <laughs> dildo yeah. that is doing something. Yeah. They're getting attention yeah. and they're being revered or yeah. respected. And in some cases, it is with merit. In other yeah. cases, it's like, oh well, my I, God. well, I think that, you know, like you said, it, it's taken me and, and I know you uh, a, a lifetime to come to the realizations. I mean, for, for me personally, uh, I, I've been very vocal about the fact that my complete perception of keeping reptiles has changed in the last three years and their intelligence. And like you said, the relationship, I mean, Elvis, who obviously came from you, um, is one of the most incredible reptiles I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, like you said, he is, you put a bucket in the middle of the aisle and he immediately is like, why is that bucket there? It wasn't there yesterday. Like, why is it there? <laughs> I'm going to go investigate it. You know, and, and he knows every single part of our shop. I mean, he knows every nook and cranny. Yeah. If you leave a door open, he's, he's in going there. in that yeah. door. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, as soon as that door is cracked, he's going in that door. You know, and uh, it's, uh, so it's, uh, now, but, but, so obviously we have a lot more experience with water monitors you know not not your experience but we've been working with them now for a bit but we just got our first captive uh yearling croc monitor and and this is i know bruce is here uh, as well with us um bruce is is heading up the kind of training on this thing and, and this is this animal's very confident it will eat off of tongs, already starting to recognize target training with the red ball. Um, but, I mean, like, I, that's that's an animal that's got a, a big penalty, man. I mean, where do you go from here? <laughs> um, well, so I don't, like, there's all these people that are being really great with the target thing and they're the red balls. I'm, like, literally putting my hand yeah. to them and I'm trusting how I read the animal, you know, you're talking to the animal because they know your voice, right? They know what you smell like. They know what you look like. They know your mannerisms. And I'm watching, you know, you got to make sure when you're interacting with these animals, you're working in the, in the thinking mode. Remember the modes? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And if that animal is like, is going back and you're coming in on it, you know, and that animal's in a defensive mode and it's not out outwardly acting towards you, in a thinking mode, you know, there's an outward, I want to eat you mode, you know, right. I want to eat, you know, chicken. But when it's coming to you and there's a little bit of side to side and the tongue flicks or that taking in things in the eye, the dilation and the blinking, you know, Brian, all those little things sure. that I, I yeah. talk about. Yeah. You know, you get in there and then it's very important that it knows your hand has nothing to do with food and the right. an, and I'm putting my hand right there and it comes up and there's like the short tongue flicks, the dilating and it's that is that contact. And if you keep using tools, mm -hmm. I think you're slowing down the breaking of the ice to actually have that relationship with the okay. animal. So if the animal is just kind of coming out to you and doing this, not wanting to eat, you need to, you, Brian, particularly, because I trust your behavioral um, insight and instinct that that animal is seeing you as, ooh, you're interesting, or I trust you, but you need to work on that relationship. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, that's one of the things we, I, we really, we, I agree it, with you. It, the mechanics, anybody can do mechanics. I can do a red ball. This means food. I do a blue ball and it means it's not or whatever it is. These are all mechanics and it all can be learned in a book. Yeah. And everything I do is I just made it up. Yeah. And no one taught me this. This is all trial yeah. and error and just what I, I did. But this is how I kind of like broke through a lot of it. And, well, um, again, I, I can, and I remember when you first started this 10 years or so ago, the monitor world thought you were a fool. 
you know, yeah. and, and now, now, <laughs> no, seriously, and, and now you are, I think, worldwide, your technique is used, uh, you know, to, to, to tame these animals. And, and that's what we're just I trying to do. I still have my fingers. Yeah, that's amazing in itself. I, I tell you what, we, I showed Bruce the, uh, a video of a, a, a little, you know, yearling croc monitor just taking a little love nip on a guy. Holy moly! Yeah, that, that love nip was like fifteen stitches. It sliced them like pastrami. Yeah, so they got the the straight down sabers with a really good blade on it. Uh, lace monitors have the same thing. Mm, yeah, <laughs> we got both of them. Got one of those too. Jessica got bit by a lace monitor. <laughs> really? It, it, well, yeah. yeah. Today it was, uh, she no. does the same thing. She uh, puts her hand out. It crawls on her hand, stuff like that. And it, no, not so today. Like a couple weeks ago. The hand underneath the chin and into the chest. Yeah. With the tongue flicks and then willing to put a leg up on you is magic. That yeah. is like the whole next level where the animal, okay, I want to come on me. Yeah, and that's what that's what you know? we've been doing. Uh, weirdly enough, the lace monitor just for some reason just decided. I and she said she thought that maybe there was a little chicken juice on on her, like because we we're feeding, and um and she thought that it might have smelled chicken juice because it just took a little love nip on her. It didn't didn't do anything too bad to her, but uh but it was on her arm and then it just went derp, just bit her real quick. <laughs> so it was uh but thankfully it didn't rip her open. She had a you know nice little tooth mark, but it was not too bad. But uh that lacy's been proven to be pretty interesting because it's uh it's still not super confident around us in the intelligence yeah, so mode, you know? they get um nervous and they'll do these little bum rushes yeah right right you know, uh, yeah or you know just whatever and i think it's like that fear aggression yeah it's just trying mm. to keep you at a distance yeah where like you've you've invaded its thing and it, it actually has to do this little momentary <laughs> aggression right. sounds like phoebe yeah like <laughs> my puppy. great dane yeah, great, great dane yeah <laughs> You, you know, but you know, feel feel the dogs and stuff like that. They're, they get scared, and then all of a sudden they go into like this attack yep. mode yeah. because they're scared. And the only way mm -hmm. they can deal with it is to act aggro and, and make you back off. Yeah. yeah. And these guys will do these little bum rushes. You you know, even croc monitors can can do it. There are similarities, but I think the lace are more apt to do right. that considering we were dealing with you know completely multi-generation in captive animals right far removed from the wild but we still are dealing with all this yeah. whereas the crocs we don't really have a lot of you yeah. know op f uh f1 options yeah i remember you saying that you thought that um water monitors thought more before they reacted and croc monitors yeah, react more i, I more. definitely said that so they're more um they're Maybe less reactive, more discerning as far as their mental state. Yeah. And they'll articulate through something where a croc monitor might react on its reactiveness and its insecurity and fear, reacts, then brings it back and then thinks. Whereas a lace monitor, largely, except for excluding some of these wonderfully tame animals that we can have, but the, the species itself is more reactive and works on that first before it's even willing to right. use its brain. So I think water yeah. monitor is the ultimate, and then you have the croc monitor a little bit below that, and mm. then the, the lace would be below that. Wow, mm. that's crazy. It's so weird, you know, because uh, you know, we're it trying to sense. Yeah, it does make sense. I mean, it's interesting with, like, our water monitors. You'll see they'll, like, first off, they, they know how to open the cage, right? Oh. Like, they, they, they like... They'll go yes, for the they lock. Figure that out. Yeah, they'll figure it out. But then, as soon as you open up the cage, you think they just bust out, but then they don't. No, no they they immediately then they spend uh, five minutes just smelling like, okay, well now do I want to come out? What's going on? You know, and right. and uh, it, but it's pretty magical to see that reaction of like I'm trying to get out, I'm trying to get out. Now I can get out, but now I want to think about what I want to yeah. do, where I want to go, how do I want to do? And like you said, ours literally will come right up to me. You know, and come up to Bruce and literally, I mean, it could go anywhere in the entire shop, but it'll come right up to us and then smell us and, and be right up our leg. And I mean, it, it's, it's climb it's, up uh, on you. Yeah. Because they crave. They well, crave. Someone called them. Yeah. They crave your attention mm -hmm. and your like 
you're you're exciting and interesting and they're so curious yeah so you're helping them fulfill yeah. they're yeah. i think he's basically they're like kids you're the center yeah. sorry i keep getting phone calls no, it's okay. you're the center of this activity yeah and they want to be part of it yeah but you know, they have the freedom to be able to walk around in a room, go under something, and they go under, and then they come out, and there's dust bunnies on them. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And yeah. You, you truly now. No. <laughs> Damn. I love the suspense. Sorry. No, don't very, worry. Yeah, very persistent person. Yeah, I think that I think um, it's uh, I, I well that's the thing about I think what we do at the Reptarium that we're we're always so excited about is when people see a water monitor they see a, a rhino iguana run out or they you know you know see these things that just don't make sense for what people think reptiles are right. you know what i mean like we have every day whether we're open at the reptarium or we have a private tour whatever people come in and they are blown away at these animals i mean they're like i have never seen i mean bella my rhino iguana literally comes to her name you know diddy and dixie are rhino iguanas you just tap on the ground they jump out of their cage and come visit you you know i mean they'll there it's just it's you know obviously the water monitors and and so many you know even one of the things that we're we're doing now and is is we're starting to target train snakes as well which is interesting. Like yesterday, I took uh, the the motley golden child that I got from you, who's very food aggressive. I'm on the phone, Dan. I'm in a meeting. Uh, so she's it's he's very food aggressive. Super super good. Hey, tell him tell him what's up. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, bro? <laughs> I mean, we've known him for thirty years too. What are you doing? You're on video right now. I'm watching. Just tell him okay. not to take his pants off. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever he does. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, what's going on, dude? So uh, my point was is what? that. <laughs> what? Nothing. Go away. We're in the fucking, We're in the fucking meeting. <laughs> That's Kevin's life right there in a nutshell. So anyways, point is is that this retic is is super food aggressive. Yeah. And, uh, what would you guys say? Oh, I was saying that this retic, uh, the, the golden child, the black one I got from you, is like super, super food aggressive. Good animal other than that. So I've literally, interestingly enough, I did do ball target training with him. And just yesterday, literally, I had a, a frozen pig and I had a ball in my left hand. And literally, it followed the ball Wherever I would go with the ball, just ignoring food, 100%. I mean, it's crazy how intelligent a snake can be that way, too, yeah. you know? I mean, you would never think that a snake would be able to be target trained so easily. And, yeah, I was going to say, a, and so quick, too. It's been four times we've done it. Yeah, we've it. only this is the fourth time we've tried it, and it already associates the color of the ball with food more than food. Well, okay, so reticulated pythons are literally one of the pinnacles as yeah. far as intellect. Yeah. And, and able to get through a situation jeez man somebody really loves to call <laughs> that's amazing him. five times the first call <laughs> that's okay just tell them to tune into the bar check uh, checking in podcast yeah, yeah. they'll know they can talk to you through that they can super chat us <laughs> there you go that's smart but, uh, but you were saying so retic's super smart uh, yeah sorry I was getting distracted yes so the retic <laughs> they they just their intellect is is really pretty substantial like yeah. reticulated pythons uh you know obviously king cobras that's what i was going to uh, ask you actually i was going to ask you, you you i king cobras to me are one of the most amazing animals on the planet you work with retics you work with king cobras is it the same level or different of intelligence um well obviously you have the whole touch orient with uh with retics so that helps an animal further establish what it thinks of you because I'm able to have this wonderful, flowy, soft relationship with the retic that it's, it's sorry, people are messaging me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and um, it, 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 it helps give you a round. Dude, somebody really loves him. He, it's, he's an important guy, you know. He's a class. So. Dude, we need to put uh, out six times, six times. <laughs> so, the, but you obviously can't have that relationship with the king cobra. Right? You can't like. Well, I mean, you okay, could, unless, you could, you, know, you could. Some, yeah. So, but I think once you can, either it's devenomized or you're willing to, you know, take these liberties. 
you will have that remarkable, touchy, soft, rounded thing because it has that same level of intellect. Um, King Cobras are, God, they're 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 so significant in in, in how I perceive them, and their wariness and their their thought to pause and to think, but. Yeah we revere that because it's this, this animal that can kill you. Yeah. And so the King Cobra, maybe it's a pseudo extra level of respect, but the King Cobra is like pinnacle. It is. I've, you know? I've always said that. I mean, that's an animal that I would die to own. Lori is not into letting me own one, but, uh, but it's one day, nope. hopefully I will. It's oh probably my God. So Lori, the captain, the captive nope. ones, and when you raise them <laughs> nope. up, they they are just they they're lovely. Are still venomous. They think, <laughs> yeah. and they just are not. You know, it's just they just listen, don't Kevin. Have you and Brian are on the same plateau Wait and mind wave. Yeah, y'all should dishes. just marry each other. Uh, Brian, Brian, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brian, and me, guess what? You both be dead because somebody has got to think Brian, the I'm logistics hearing, hearing like, of what's oh, going Brian, on. My dishpan hands. <laughs> you know what? I swear to God, motherfucker. I, you know what? You better hope you don't see me because Dude. I don't even think so. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm hearing my new sketches. You know what? Uh, no. Teeth. Who the hell? You don't even know me. How <laughs> long? How long have you thought you know me? Because none of what you're saying Look, is even close to what, she's buy me. Celebrating, she was able to to bench press 15 pounds today. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, okay. That's her PR. Okay. A personal record right there. 15 <laughs> pounds. Yeah. Yep. It's good stuff. Oh um, God. Well, that's both. Yo, first mm -hmm. of all, let's recognize that's both biceps combined. Yeah. So that means each yeah. bicep can like bench like yeah. 10 pounds a uh -huh. piece. Wow. Yeah, that's exactly. That's combined exactly. Together, <laughs> I, <can't pounds. laughs> I think that okay. works out about right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 10 plus 10 is 15. <laughs> mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, why? You got a problem with that, Dick? Uh, I got a problem with you, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no. <laughs> Jay, do we have any other? No, I'm, yeah, listen, yeah, I'm I got not you. interested in any of that feminine hate speech that you dribble on about. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly I know, what I do. <laughs> I know you can make a sandwich better and faster than me. No, <laughs> no, no, actually. no, she fucking can't. <laughs> No, she cannot. I. It's not that I can't. It's she, that no. I won't. It's that you can't. You listen, can't. Kevin, I have no desire. Listen, Kevin. No, and I also know that your your ability to coupon is definitely better. Than <laughs> now that's true. Now that can be true. Now that's listen, true. Kevin, li Noah, what? what what did you eat for lunch every day? Your mom made you for lunch during school. <laughs> oh fuck! I mean, half the days Shut I would the eat. Fuck up! I'm. A <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Noah. <laughs> I'm in a Zoom meeting. Oh, okay. What well, it means like everybody Jeremy's here. Oh, Jeremy! Jeremy! God damn it. Jeremy, what's, what's up, up bro? Bro? Where's your trumpet at, dude? <laughs> Why did Dan attract you over here? No. It's becoming like Tara called me like seven times. Yeah. And I'm like, can't get She's she's she heard you were making fun of can Lori you, and you, is trying hey, to control you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that and, is true. And Dan comes over and thinks that it's time to sit down and look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you want? I heard this was done. No, well, done. almost. It, it pretty close. much is. We're getting close. We're getting close. <laughs> like, Kevin's just talking stupid shit. So it's pretty much warm, done. <laughs> and Lori's like talking like she's talking about like. This no. I'm talking about kicking your so ass because you're an idiot. And That's what I'm talking right about. She bench pressed 15,000 <laughs> 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 Without Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jeremy yeah, knows they, Lori they well. Comments yeah. Saying that uh, this fight needs to happen. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what. I will Where put my bank account on her. <laughs> Where is this thing even being broadcast? Because I, I thought we were just in the Zoom meeting. <laughs> yeah, we're, just, we're, yeah, we're totally nope, Zoom it's meeting. All on, it's it's so all on the YouTube, it's just, man. It's podcast. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin thinks Where, it's just us. Are people commenting? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, hey, Yo, hey, are people commenting? You know. You're such you a dumbass. You don't even know what it's like to even hang with the giant intellect and the massive swole of 
of an of, evil moth guy. Of, of Jeremy? <laughs> the, <laughs> Jeremy the side effects of moose milk. Yeah, exactly. Why? <laughs> You're seeing them live. Oh, <laughs> yo, you, yo, you, baby, you need FedEx to deliver cases. I need some of that if shit. If you even want to be on the same page. I need some of that shit. I'll inject in my eyeballs. like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do we have any super chats yeah, Jay, let's good. catch up on this we're gonna on, uh, we're, up on we this. got uh, J, uh, Jason A <laughs> said uh, as an admin for reptile uh, breeders for Brian Barcheck I'm uh, willing to bet it's a reply to a post that was asking to buy, sell, or rehome. Oh, I see what you're saying. This yeah, was, he was about, talking about, about the, the, page, the group. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, Jason. It, it, I agree. It happened. Okay, say that again, please. Yeah, so yeah. he was basically saying that if in your group someone talks about buying, selling, trading, anything like that, it can be a violation of term. Him. You can't hear me? Okay, so... Brian, so, talk in the microphone. Yeah, I am talking. <laughs> so okay. what, what it is if, if in your reptile group, but don't worry, we can figure it out. If, if someone talks about buying, selling, trading, anything like that, it's a violation of terms of service. But we, we have it right on the top. No buying, no selling, blah, blah, blah. We did all this. We delete the stuff. Yeah. So if somebody posts something, and it's it would be very rare, it's... We, we delete it when we see it. Yeah. Well, like I said, we'll dive deeper into that. Don't worry about it. We'll dive in. We'll get, we'll get my, my manager on it, so don't worry too much about that. We're, uh, hey, uh, Olivia says, hey, everyone. I have uh, internet for now, so I wanted to pop in and ask how the baby ball pythons are doing. Baby ball pythons are doing great for us. How's your season going? Are you, are you getting eggs? Yeah. My season is behind, and uh, it's just a later season for us. But yeah. Well, you crushed we'll, it last year. We'll be bringing some ball pythons. I, I think probably next year I'll probably get back on it. I really did get distracted this year and just some stuff. So yeah, well, last year it seemed like you had it. They'll just be in prime yeah. shape for next year. Yeah, last year it looked like you crushed it. So I mean, yeah. sometimes it's hard I to did. get to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So all right, go ahead. Next one is Stephanie. She threw fifty bucks. Stephanie hey. Bosio. She's always Stephanie. on here. Yeah, you're always great, Stephanie. She Thank says, you so uh, much. "Love you guys." Lori is the best money for your wine fun. Uh, Thanks, Steph. That's so nice. Thanks, Steph. That'll help the harassment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. Next is uh, <laughs> Rebecca King. She says, I've been trying to raise money to come see uh, or oh, to us. come see us trying for the end of the year. Mm. I hope you do. That we will have a yeah. great time if you can come visit us. That'd be awesome. We gotta get Kevin out here to the rep We've been I trying know, to get him out do. here forever, hey, man. Can I do can I do a super chat too? Somebody's asking me right here. Yeah. 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 Um uh, okay, uh, Sarah <laughs> wants to know, she says Lori, what detergent is less foamy and is the best value for the money? We're doing this. Yeah, that's interesting. I wow, know. I, why don't you? Since Noah does the dishes Sarah. most of all, what do you think, Noah? Yeah, no, but Lori, it was directed towards. Yeah, you. but I don't do dishes. <laughs> Trust so me. So you're actually saying that, Sarah? I actually don't know. That's I'm true. saying, Sarah, I don't care. Well, wait a I minute. don't what care. Happened girl power? <laughs> what happened to girl power? You know what? I don't, I'm not into <laughs> stupid girl power. If a girl wants to be stupid about shit, oh, okay, hold on. then no. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to respond to Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, says you're, you're a dumbass. <laughs> you are stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I would say. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, she just gave me a sad face. I guess she didn't like your comment. <laughs> Good. Damn. All right. Sad face. I guess I won't do any more super chats. Yeah. You're gonna be rude like that. I can't believe no. how rude. You know what it is? Probably because you're a superstar. Yeah. And you're you're like you don't care about the little people that are no. Still it's not, not about dishwashers. It's not You're about the, the little people. I literally just don't care about anybody. Okay? <laughs> it's not I don't discriminate. <laughs> yeah, Lori doesn't care about it. My anybody. hate don't discriminate. <laughs> exactly. They know about me. They know I hate everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Cuz I hate the human species. That, thank yeah, you. That, yeah. I'm yeah. right there with you. We can yeah, agree. Yeah, you and, you and that's probably why we get along so well, Kevin, is you 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 and Lori yeah. are so much alike. <laughs> He's used to it. <laughs> I'm used to it. Okay. You got anything else for yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got uh Robert. He actually brought tamales last week. Oh, oh, Robert. Oh, Robert. Oh, dude. 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 Kevin. So, so good. So, so Kevin, this good, guy Robert. brought a bunch of tama you know, tamales, tamales, right? Tamales? Have you ever tamales? eaten tamales? He tamales. knows what a fucking tamale is. No, not the candy. Not like, the candy. No. No, no actual, an actual like, tamale. Yeah, like a homemade like a Mexican, Mexican dish. tamale. Mistake. 
years old. Oh, wow. No. So Man. anyways, Robert That's brought these right. amazing Jesus, tamales. Yeah, fucking baked beans, yo. <laughs> no. <laughs> but le- legitimately, Robert, these, these tamales oh. were the... the, the you, oh, they my were, gosh. They Thank were some you, of the best I've ever had, and I've had a lot of really good homemade ones, dude. Ugh. So, th- yeah, so, so what he actually ended up saying, he wanted to know which one you guys like the best and where do I send my resume? Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> to be my personal chef. That's it, dude. <laughs> so he, he sent uh, pork, chicken, cheese, and, cheese and, with, and with jalapeno. Yeah. I like the cheese and jalapeno, but they were a bit hot. Yeah, nah. I'm telling you what. I'm but not they were a, great. I'm not a hot person, and the pork were the non-spicy. I ate all of them. Even, Literally even, all of them, even yeah, ours. I did. I did. <laughs> I, I did. I ate all of them, including I the cheese and jalapeno. I, I just picked the jalapeno <laughs> out. Uh, it was still hot as hell. It burned my mouth, but it still tasted. So yeah, good. so it was good. So send <laughs> so your resume. Thumbs up to yes. all of them. Send your resume, man. <laughs> awesome. Jose says uh, just threw five bucks and said good stuff. So thanks, appreciate you. Thanks, Jose. Soulless Honky's back in the building. Hey, says, Soulless, hey Kevin, up, sitting so here honk. playing guitar, looking like your evil twin. Lost my <laughs> job and place in the last week, but this oh. makes me feel better. Hey, ho- sorry to hear that, man. I, yeah. yeah, sorry, Soulless. So yeah. Soulless, meet uh, evil morph, morph God. There you guys you are, are well, quite the couple. you're going to have a lot of different job opportunities in the future because yeah. there's going to be a lot of rehires and all this different stuff so i think it's you might be able to even change it up and you might find some uh that might even actually be opportunities in, i love that yeah, i love that you can yeah, start yeah. an only fan wait, wait a second was that was that positivity from kevin I know, yeah that was right? really good i almost what? fainted was that positivity <laughs> from you was that something positive posi- yeah, yeah. I've never you. heard that before. Not something evil. I, I was I was confused. Yo, I want to get back to this little honey over here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Those tamales. It sounded like she was acting like a pig. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Lori can out. So I was eating so many of those things. Not like a lady. <laughs> no, I don't eat like a lady. <laughs> Lori literally can out eat me. Like literally, we go to a restaurant and they bring, I'll get like a 12 ounce steak. She gets the 20 ounce and they'll bring me the they'll like set it i'm like no that's not mine that's hers She's like, I mean, she Didn't we, we just went to five guys and yeah. you know you got the mask so you can't really understand people so i order my triple Hell bacon yeah. cheeseburger and he goes the single and i was like no 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 no, no. triple Idiot. three patties, three like, patties. Oh. kevin no, loves so the Lori, meat Lori, before you say your triple whatever the fuck the meat you're eating you say first of all uh yo did I stutter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you say, yo, I want slamming trickles, triple stack of disgusting <laughs> cardiovascular nightmare. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Kevin's, yes. Ke- Kevin's not a fan of the meat. Kevin's not a fan of the meat. Cow. Oh, oh really? Of, Should we talk about and, the steaks that we had that were awesome? Of a poor little cow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Get in my belly. When you can, eat, when you can <laughs> replace those three all beef patties with Beyond Beef. Oh and those Lord, taste no! Just as good no, as hamburgers. They don't, and they're not as oh good for God, you either. Oh my God, crazy! Yeah, no, you're insane. A little bit. We'll yeah, argue you know, this the, one yeah, to the day yeah, you be die. Be careful. <laughs> I, Lori will not step down from this plat, platform. I, I can, I can promise you that. It's all meat. about the, the, the industrialized farming of animals. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan either. I, delicious. Could, uh, <laughs> I could honestly drop the red meat. I don't yeah. care, but I oh, love chicken too chicken much. Chicken and no. fish, man. That's right, yeah, I could do that. If that's a thing, you want to start a You're little all religion? all a bunch of Nancy's. Thank you. Yeah. No. Thank it's you. all right. <laughs> what it's makes okay. Bruce any different? <laughs> yeah, Bruce you is eat burgers all the time. <laughs> every day. Red meat all day. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. These guys. All right, do we have anything else, Jake? Yeah, yeah. We got uh, Thunder says, uh, Kevin, hope the Bolins and White Lip projects are going well. Keep up the oh, great yeah, work, the man. White Lips, too, yeah. Thank What's you up? very much. How is the I White Lip doing? That, that caramel's sick. I, I need females. We won't yeah. even talk about that, bastard. I know. I don't, I don't have I need like adult. I don't have any adult females. I've got a female. I'll send you. Is it a female? Uh-huh, yeah, I a female. Uh-huh. Yeah. We no, said. talk to Lori. So listen, this is what the deal is. You have you have to be first off. You might want to be nicer to nice. L- Lori <laughs> because she's the one that facilitates everything. Because if you if I do it, it'll never happen. But this Lori, is very will very it. true. <laughs> I don't no, do dishes. I run the business. <laughs> 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 you dingy broad. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right, so uh, let roses burn. She uh, uh, she said, "Whoa, will that throwdown be free or a pay per view?" Oh, that's oh it'll be a pay per view. Sixty <laughs> bucks, bro. Nah. Listen here, <laughs> that Yo, ass kicking won't be free to we see. <laughs> 
huge small fat wallet stuffing. Yes. See, you give her like a couple like stockings, some of them frilly socks, maybe pair of shoes. <laughs> it's a day. What the fuck? I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't. You might have a hard time though. Lori's pretty mean. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I know you've been like martial arts forever, but she's she fights really mean. Yeah. I'm more of a grounded yeah. pound. <laughs> All right, uh, Jay. Yeah. Anything like else? Cats, Barb, go rescue the cats. They're they're like growling. All right. <laughs> so uh, Christine, cats on the, the stairs growling at each other. <laughs> Christine says, "Just wanted to say thanks for this great podcast. I was hoping you guys would be able to do something like this." Even with all the insanity going on, thanks again for all you guys do. <laughs> is Brian that uh, Christine Kilroy? That is. All right, yeah, she's up in your area. You know Christine. Awesome. You know Christine, that's... right? Thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate that too. I'm actually, I didn't know what I was even doing when Brian just says, "Hey, you want to do this thing?" I didn't. I, of course, I'll do anything for Brian. I didn't quite know what was I was even doing. Yeah, I didn't know what I was doing either. Yeah, we all and, and we obviously we're doing. This is a podcast. We, and, knew what we, were yeah, doing. we think <laughs> it's a podcast. We're yeah. not sure. Yeah, we're not sure. We're yeah, figuring it out. Not, <laughs> we're figuring it out. But yeah, you know, I mean, the whole idea when we started the podcast was to have people in studio. But now, obviously, with COVID, it's just it's the uh, Rona. yeah, it's just easier to do things over Zoom now and. It's a, but it's a little bit more complicated with our setup, obviously. <laughs> a little bit. I love, dude, I'm driving a space shuttle here, dude. What the fuck? Yeah. That's crazy. You but, could definitely go to Mars with that bitch. For sure, dude. Yeah, I feel dude. like I'm there already. It is crazy. Uh, if, if you saw the amount of wires that we have in this room. And the size of the screen. And the size of the screen. I mean, like, literally. I, I, I'm pretty sure that there's less wires in an Airbus uh, yeah, yeah, than there is in this sure. studio. Right we now. could Just repel like, down uh, Mount Everest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. With all yeah. The wire. yeah. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else, guys? Or uh, before we let Kevin go, or do you guys got any questions? You got anything no, for I us, think Kevin? I asked him everything I wanted to. Maybe like another ten years, you can bring me back. Oh my yeah. gosh! Yeah, we'll see what Maybe. people say. Maybe ten we'll years. See what if you shut say. the hell up we'll, and we'll stop hang, saying we'll, stupid shit. Yeah, we'll hang out for a few minutes more, guys. But <laughs> yo, we'll let. Yo, yo, lady, I knows I'm gonna give you like some respect and call you lady or you little filly. I don't know. <laughs> oh need to shit! Hear <laughs> you little all the silly. gibberish from like uh, your see and say woman's dictionary. Oh, okay. Encyclopedia. You know what? See kind and of, see like, and say. You're aging words. yourself, there, buddy, because nobody knows what the hell you're talking about. I don't even know what see and say. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, honey. <laughs> Listen here, little boy. Calm down. Calm as down. Long as you okay. It, it is true. In your it's own clear that your mommy didn't brain give brain you up. enough love, and you're very aggressive towards women. Damn. All right. I was repeatedly dropped and dribbled like a basketball. <laughs> it shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kevin, Nate, dude. Uh, like I said, we'll hang out for a few minutes after. Uh, but Kev, thanks, dude. I'll give you a call here in the next couple days and fill you in on everything. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> Later, Kev. Everybody, right. Thank you very much. All and right. hopefully, you guys know that I'm a big just joker. And of course, yeah, everyone knows. I got to think, like, <laughs> Kevin really. You know, Kevin hates women. Yeah. Kevin now, hates women. now people are gonna yeah death threat you. Oh so no, you're it, welcome. Brian, the, the thing, remember the handoff reptile thing? Oh and yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, 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 yeah. We invited you to yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. But you were. Uh, it sounds like. Pussy. Actually, it is pussy, but you were too pussyish to do it. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> when we did the handoff, oh reptile, yeah, yeah. Those girls did such a good one, and we we're like, hey, we're gonna do one. So we did it, and it just happened to be, you know, uh, guys in our group, and then they immediately started saying that um, I was sexist. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> actually, I thought you're. I thought you're amazing. I thought well, you're guess what, Kevin? Did really you well. didn't ask me. Because yeah. maybe I would have done it. So yeah, there no. you uh, go. Uh, listen. There you go. Cupcake over here. <laughs> 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 no, it, so maybe it, it actually worked out really well. I just honestly, at the uh, you know, like I said, the last few months have not been myself. I'm starting to slowly I, 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 feel. Dude, I'm not going to hold no, it against no, no. you. I'm just going to hold it against her. Exactly. Lori <laughs> should have been on yeah. it. So, All right, brother. I'll call you in the next day <laughs> or two. All right. All right. Bye, guys. All right. See you guys. Later, Kevin. All right. <laughs> Kevin's always great to, to have on. I mean, he's uh, he's a character, and do he you, behaved himself really well. Do you want to um, give a couple names of where you can yeah, find yeah. him please, at please, on please, social yeah. media? Please go show him love. Obviously, the evil morph god on Instagram. Uh, you can also follow New England Reptile Distributors on Instagram. What's the YouTube? Um, YouTube channel is New the England Boston Reptile Boston. Distributors. The ad volume. Everybody online yep. say that this uh, I, I don't even know what that's um, all about. Don't worry about it. So YouTube... <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so YouTube is going to be New England Reptile Distributors. Okay. Pretty much Evil Morph God or New Instagram, England Reptile Distributors uh, are going to be good. Follow New England so I don't know what's going on. No, now we're, we're out of control over here. But uh, but anyways, point is is that... <laughs> maybe we're on, maybe we're maybe not. Maybe we're on, maybe we're <laughs> Whatever. not. Whatever. This has been... It's been a little bit of a technical it's, nightmare. We thought it we had it under control, but we didn't. Huh? Hopefully, by next time, we'll be dialed in to where when we do have it. Let us know in the comments. Obviously, hit the like yeah, button if, if you, you don't mind it. too. But let us know in the comments and in the chat if this worked out. Yeah. If you guys I think want, it did. If, if you know, like doing well, guests you know like this. And well, sometimes it's just about having fun. Yeah, you no, know it what? is. And you have a good time. And yeah. we we're supposed to originally, for people that know, Paul Cafaro was supposed to be on today. Mm. Um, Another day. Kevin's jumped in. Paul is scheduled for next Kevin week. Kevin was our backup. Kevin was our backup. Well, it wasn't that Not he was a backup. No, no, no. Kevin, uh, to be totally honest with you, I wanted to have Kevin on uh, as, as a guest, but I really wanted him in studio because I, I thought know, it would be I'm a lot more fun. But, another one. but when Paul with him backed in out, and, and what happened was Paul had a meeting that popped up that he was unaware of. So Paul mm. is supposed to be on next Wednesday. Perfect. If you guys want to have another guest, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, we can we could talk YouTube, listen. we could talk Paul, we I can't could talk everyone. Tell you how much we enjoy. Listen this. this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, even though yes, the people are important, I think that it's yeah. going to be fun for us to have guests on. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I think this so is too. a learning experience. I mean, this is technically mm-hmm. only the second or third time we've even tried the the Zoom. Yeah. So there's going to be a learning curve, just yeah. like you guys are talking about with the reptiles yeah. and the yeah. breeding, and you, right. you have to learn. Yeah, you have to lose. Well, you have to, to make those mistakes. Will, yeah, and I hope exactly. we can dial this in exactly. to where because I think it will be a, a good asset. You know, because obviously I'd rather have people in studio. I agree. But there's going to be people not only because of what's going on in the world right now, but also just you know it's going to be harder. You know, I mean, I like like I'm sure I, I was thinking I'm sure I can get. David Dobrik or, or Jason maybe on a Nash Zoom. And on you know a Zoom. what I mean? They're never going to fly out here to do it. I agree. But they're going to do it. You know, some of the Vlog Squad or some of my other YouTube friends, our YouTube friends. I agree. We can we can have on. And I think it'll be really good. So it was uh, it was good. Um, I was going to tell everyone the update that I've been feeling a lot better. Good. Hell yeah! You know, um, I we went golfing. We went golfing a couple nights oh, ago. How was that? Uh, and, and you we're know, bad. We're really we're, bad. Yeah, we're not good at golfing. Same. It was the first time I've golfed in, in, since when we were with Miguel last time. We go- or last time I golfed. last time you golf was that yeah, long yeah, ago. Like, that was, was like two it was like years, two three, three years three. ago. And then it had been two or three years before that since I golfed. But I will say that I went out. I wanted to do it. For a couple reasons. Number one, I wanted to step outside my comfort zone. Number two, I love spending time with you, Noah, and I thought it'd yeah. be fun. And uh, I, I was a little anxious for a, for a little bit. And then I, I remember we were sitting on maybe hole three or four or something like that. And um, I did kind of take it in for a second. I'm like, man, I'm out here golfing. I'm with my son. This is awesome. And then I felt great. I felt better. You know, the anxiety mm-hmm. kind of went away. Yesterday I didn't have uh, yesterday I had the worst day I had right. in the last 10 days, which would have been one of my <laughs> best, best days, days yeah. 2 Good. weeks ago. You know what I mean? So if my worst day was my best day 10 right. days ago, that gives you an idea how 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 we're coming along. Do I feel like it's over? I just wanted to give people the update. You know, yeah, of and and like I I've been saying, you know, I really want to you know, I, I feel like we're so blessed to have a platform that, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's the podcast or the vlog or, yeah. or, or social media as a general, I feel like I'm so blessed that if, if I can use that to inspire people um, to, to, to that are dealing with things. But but it's kind of like me and Jay were talking about, you know, if you have anxiety, you have depression and you do nothing to get better. You're really kind of just really wishing to get better without any great really possibilities you have to have change to have yeah, change, have, right? yeah you have to have you know which you know, speaking of uh, off topic a little bit but uh uh aaron our trainer said something that I, he said i think it was like socrates or somebody said this mm-hmm. they said they said a man spends his life creating wealth and when he gets old he spends his wealth to gain his health back isn't that crazy and so that that's just a little bit of perspective of the fact that we need balance in life. And one of the things I've been talking a lot about is balance, balance, balance. Um, obviously, someone gave me this bracelet this last weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, the white has uh, a drop of water from the top of Everest, and the black has uh, a drop of water from the Dead Sea. And to me, that that symbolizes balance, you know, and, and the fact that we need to balance our life and that, you know, I've worked. We've worked 
30 something years incessantly without any real breaks and without any you know anything other than work and and we love what we do or at least i certainly love what i do but it is time to start gaining that balance back in life and golfing is is you know i could care less that i suck it didn't matter i didn't hit what you were out there with me for nine holes one shot i wasn't upset about right i didn't i didn't get one shot where i and i, I i'd say out of the nine holes i think i had my lob wedge was pretty good. Yeah, that's all you My lob wedge was on fire, though. Yeah, I, had, I, had lob, I had lob. I had lob wedge. Well, but other than that, I golfing, didn't have any. Yeah. So, like, perfe- like, these golfers that actually golf to be good, Yeah. even if they're not professor, p- professional, I mean, they could be completely amateurs, but they're try-hard dickheads. You know what yeah. I mean? They're just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go play leisure golf, yeah, but I'm going to try my fucking hardest. Yeah, like, yeah and I'm going to get mad if I slice Exactly. One I'm going to get mad. I'm going to be frustrated. Like, bro, you, you're you not even good in the first place. Yeah. Even if you're hitting par every time, which you're not, you're not even good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't even eagle the fucking ball. But did you yeah. guys, you either one me? of you guys get a hole in one? So, oh, no. gosh, let's talk about this let's for fin- a second. <laughs> no, let's finish this first. Yeah, that's The it. point of <laughs> golfing for me, and I think for you, is so we're playing nine holes over a span of potentially two hours. Yeah, two and a half. And hours. if I even get one good hit, yeah, that makes my whole thing. Yeah. Well, that's Just all it one is. One yeah. good hit. Yeah, that's and all you pretty need. much knock on wood, every single time I get at least one good hit. So yeah, I'm gonna, satisfied yeah. every time. Well, I think that's what they say about golf, right? You can go out for nine holes and suck it up the whole time, but you just need one hit and you're hooked. Yeah, you know, once you I hear agree. that tink. And you just yeah, hear it, you feel sound, it, you yeah. sound the See feel, the fly, and you're like, yeah. oh man, this is fucking awesome. It. But let's uh, let's go ahead and talk about this for a second. One of the things that uh, really uh, frustrates me, separates, separates me Lori from, from most people, <laughs> number one. And Jay, I don't know if you know this. You probably don't know this, Jay. <laughs> What's that? Lori was at a tournament for the church, right? Uh, school. School. For the okay, kids so school. school. Yep. A golf outing. She fucking got a hole in one. No way, dude. Oh, dude. I and, and that's exactly dude, it. People probably I was, shit. I oh, you don't even know. I was golfing one of the worst go- games of my life. Like, oh my god, I was so pissed. Like, I couldn't hit shit for anything. And then just like you said, like I teed up Dink, and I was like, "Man, that felt so good." Watched it, watched it. I was like, "That is such a good shot." And the next thing I know, the people ahead of us oh, no. at the fucking hole were just like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? And then we get over there. They're like, holy shit. Who hit that? And I'm like, <laughs> me. Me. like hole in one. I'm like, shut the hell no. up. That's crazy, no way. Dude. It was a par three hole in one. Yep. I go. I finish, obviously, the thing. I go to it's the crazy. clubhouse, and like people are losing their shit, you know, because obviously it doesn't happen yeah, very yeah, yeah. often. That's and they're so like, crazy. hold on, hold on. We got a certificate for you, whatever. I felt so bad. There's these old men, <laughs> probably like 70 plus years old. They're like, somebody hit a hole. Because, of course, everybody knows somebody got a hole and run. They're like, who did it? Who did it? Coming up, shaking my hand. I've been golfing my whole life, <laughs> and I never got one. And I'm just like, I'm so sorry <laughs> I, that's all i could say like i'm not a good golfer like there's no reason at all for this to happen that's awesome, and i though. felt terrible but the yes worst, and the i worst, still have the yeah thing. i think it's the worst my office <laughs> i think the worst part of that story is the fact that there were two par threes the other par three was, a car. Had, uh, was a car i would have won a damn car yeah, if no, i would have hit the real? other one yeah. yeah it was a cadillac yeah, yeah she would have won a cadillac Shit. If she yeah. would have hit a hole but in one you know what the I other got? one, I, I got, got a this plaque. sign. I got, I got this sign. And the <laughs> sign, like unfortunately, and the sign, unfortunately, when our old building's roof blew off, got yeah. water damage. Yeah, I still have it. It's, it's got a little damage, but it's good. Doesn't matter. I but still yeah, got it. Lori it still matter. It. Doesn't matter. I yeah, still made Lori, it. Lori literally hit a hole in one. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that impressive? Yeah, it's yeah. super crazy. But I think that. I wonder how many people. Like if the you know, if we took all nearly eight billion people, right? Uh, What's alive, the average? Yeah. Yeah. How many people have? Hit well, you know, look what that, happened to Tom Brady recently, right? That's in like that was 1, like thousand. Tom Brady had that where he really embarrassed himself what for that do? golf. Well, remember it was like Tiger Woods. Tom oh Brady, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and and Tom Brady was like just the worst. I mean, he was like it was embarrassing. Like Good. I was watching, feeling embarrassed for him, <laughs> and he hit a hole in one. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I swear See, to God, shut up. I swear to God. He hit a hole in one live? 
How? What was the par? What was the? Uh, it was like a par three, a hole in one, and that's why my whole no. flight. Like I think maybe no one talked it. about how horrible he was. Yeah, they talked about it the doesn't fact matter. That Obviously, that's no one talked matters. about. It. I didn't even know about. And maybe that's, that's it. You guys watching the it. shittiest yeah. game of your one. life to oh get the hole in one. Maybe that's how it works. Yeah. Well, <laughs> are you guys? What are you guys good? <laughs> Am I good? Oh, you mean here? Yeah, we guilt my yeah. back. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, that, my yeah, freaking sorry. back yeah, in this sorry, chair. Texas. Well, cool, man. That was cool. I enjoyed uh, the time with Kevin. Yeah, uh, I, I had hope a great that you guys enjoyed well. it. Learned uh, a lot. Know. Yeah, I yeah. learned a lot. He's a smart. Lot. I'm telling Kevin's you, he's a the smart man. dude, man. He's a smart, smart, smart dude. Yeah. And um, you know, I don't think people give him the credit that he deserves. You know, no, for a lot of things. I think because because Kevin is Kevin, as you can see, yeah, he's, he's a smart ass. He's goofy or whatever, and like. It's hard. Like people see that and don't appreciate the or don't respect. Yeah, right? whatever. Probably, you got to know the personality. Like. Exactly. People probably have a hard time differentiating. Yep. Like they probably see like his little jokes and stuff, and Thinking they probably get asshole. butt hurt. Yeah. And then exactly. they don't take his actual intelligence for. But he's next level. Fact. Oh yeah. no, he's next level. Yeah. No, yeah, you can tell. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, tell he knows what the fuck yeah, he's talking yeah, about. So. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. With that being said, I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, please let us know <laughs> if you want to uh, learn some more. We'll have some more cool, intelligent <laughs> Paul guests Kapar on. next week. Exactly. Maybe we'll learn a little bit about some fish next week. You know yep. what I'm yeah, saying? He's a smart dude about fish. Exactly. Dude. Really smart. So I'll gather some questions. You guys, too. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have been checked in, and we...